Next on the list is the 12th bottom row. So that's what I call BR12. And I have these numbered because when I did my uh, bag sort, I figured it would be easier to do my block prep and to do my layout for this uh, assembly because that way I know exactly which ones go where every time. So I've got my pieces laid out over here and I'm going to leave this right here for reference. And we have the five pieces under here. We have this center section of like a diamond, a bordered diamond, and then some extra pieces at the middle and at the tip. So how this is going to go assembly wise is here we've got five pieces right here on the bottom. And this is the only weird spot. So what you're going to do is you're going to put together pieces three and four, making sure that this is a good line here. And then you're going to stick on to number five to number four. And then you'll be able to put on number two and number one. I think I might put one and two together before I put it on to three and four, but we'll see how that goes. When I get up here, the assembly is going to look kind of like a nine patch. If you look at this, this is a nine patch situation, but it's just a little different shaped. So I've got three, I've got three rows here, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it together in a row. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then at the end, as soon as I finish putting this diamond together, and then we'll put these two pieces on, and then at the very end, I will put on 17 and 18. It's going to be a little interesting basing these really skinny pieces, but we will cover that as we get there. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down here and base number three and four and put those together. I've basted and connected pieces three and four. I've basted with my tags going out, which means I did this side first and then these sides. And then I did the short side on this one first with the opposite side and then I did the opposite sides from there. And this one I next, I'm going to do, I am going to do one and two at the same time. I'm going to base these and connect them to each other before I connect them to three and four because I'll be able to line up my line better. I'll be able to line up the top of one with the top of three at the same time while I line up the bottom of two with the bottom of four. Then I can add number five and I'll have this strip. So for basting on number two, I'm going to do the same thing I did here on number three. I'm going to base the outside section first then the legs of the triangle. This I'm going to do the short side and the opposite side from there first. And then I'll do these two and connect them. And then I'll be ready to be able to connect them to this section. So I've got one and two basted and connected. So that's this. This fabric on the front, my focus fabric, has this white and this dark squares. So it does matter if it's upside down or not from the standpoint of the color. So I have to be real careful when I get to my diamonds. But for now, we're good. So now I'm going to line this up and attach these by making sure I can line up my top and bottom well. So now I've got one and two attached to three and four. And this is what we've got here. So it looks like it's one big piece. And then next, I am going to base and attach number five. So now I've completed the bottom section of this entire triangle, and that is right there. And so now I'm going to flip this over and set it aside. And next, we're going to move on to the center diamond section. I'm going to start on the bottom row with pieces 7, 11, and 12. And I'm going to base. I'm going to base the outsides and then the other sides. And then I'm going to start the short sides and then do the longer sides. I'm going to base all of these the same way. It's 8, 13, and 15, and then 9, 14, and 16 will form that whole center section. We're going to get started with this bottom row right here, and we'll go from there. So now i got my pieces basted. But I got to worry about which direction this diamond goes because I've covered up my direction indication. So I'm going to look over here on my tw number 12 piece to see which way that goes. And so I'm going to flip this over and then I'm going to flip this other one over and make sure that this little white rectangle on the top is the same direction on my one that I basted. Otherwise, if I flip it over, it's going to be the wrong way. 
So now that I've gotten that figured out, I'll flip this over and then attach it to the center piece. And if you notice, I've basted it so it nests very well into this other section. So what I'm going to do now is I will tape it and attach it and sew this together so I can move on to basting the other piece. So I've basted and attached both of my diamonds to my center section. I wanted to check that both of them are the same direction. And now I've got my tabs nesting very well together. So now I'm going to go over here and take my piece number 10 that goes on the bottom part of that row because if I don't do that, it's not going to distinguish it from the other row. So I want to make sure I keep everything together. I'm going to baste this triangle with the bottom first and then the two sides. Then I will attach it to get this entire unit. Now I've got this whole section assembled and all of my fabric goes to the same direction as the diamonds. So I'll set this here and now we're going to work on the center row 8, 13, and 15. I'm going to base the short sides first and then the long sides of the rectangle and I'm going to do the same pattern on 13 with the outer sides and then the other sides. So I've sewn together my entire center row. My fabric is going in the right direction. And now we're going to attach it to this other section that we just finished. Now we've got both of these sections completed and it's starting to come together nicely. And my fabric all goes in the same direction and matches where it should. So I'm going to set this whole section aside and we're going to work on number 9, 14, 16 row. We're going to base the same way we did here with this side going first and then the other side. The short side of the number 14 rectangle will be the same. And you're going to do the same thing on 16 as well. And we're going to attach them all together and make the third row. Now I've got this third row all completed. The fabric is going in the right direction. So now I'm going to flip this back over. We're going to show this whole thing. I've got that section and then this is going to fit right up in here. And to double check, I've got my little white rectangles all going in the same direction. The tabs are going to nest very nicely. And now we're going to attach this to the rest of the unit. Now I've got this all attached together. And now we are going to attach the other triangle. And this one is different than this one. So we're going to base the bottom first and then the two sides. And when we go to line this up on the unit, we're going to make sure to pay attention to the outside edges. However, keep in mind that we still don't have 17 and 18 on this triangle yet. So let's go ahead and base this and get this attached. So now I've got all of my triangles connected to my diamond section. And now we're going to add the bottom back on. So let's get this flipped over so that it's in the right direction. And my tabs are going to nest extremely nicely on this bottom edge. So I've attached the bottom to my center section. And now it is time to deal with the little skinny bits. So number 18 is right here. And we're going to take and base this thicker side first. And then we're going to base this inner edge and then the outer edge and it's going to get real tricky right down in here because it's really really narrow. So We're going to put that there first and then we'll be able to come back and do number 17 and we'll baste it in the same way. So I've attached number 18 and I ran into a basting problem that I had to fix. I had to make sure that the other thighs were flipped. So when I do my number 17 I'm going to fix it. I'm going to put this first and then I'm going to do the outer edge first and then the inner so that the tag goes away from the center and make it easier. So once I put that right there and line it up with the edges, make sure I do it from the right direction and then we'll be good to go. Now that I've gotten my number 17 attached to make my tip, I now have a completed BR12 triangle.